Hey, it's Richard in the Old Loki Workshop. This video is on the table saw, the table saw stand, and the table saw outfeed table. So here I go rolling in the table saw, doing some cuts outdoors. Rolls in very nicely. I pull it instead of pushing it. All right, ready to go in place. Now I'll push this thing into place this and then up we go done so here's a corner shot of the table saw on its stand it's just a simple wooden stand uh, built to fit custom built got a door on the front of uh, of it there I got junk inside of it I don't want you to see so I put a door on there and that door is missing its iron on edge on the bottom so I hope you haven't told anybody about that. The stand is on uh, casters and it rolls around quite nicely but uh, it also has a feature to make it stationary. So here's a shot of the table saw on its stand from uh, the corner and you can see I got a dust deputy there as well as the vacuum that's the red thing back there behind that and they're suspended with actually with some ropes uh, tied onto the saw itself so it moves with the saw and then to hold the saw steady there's a lever here attached to a two before down there and the two before has some little feet on the bottom of it it's actually on the side of it which is on on down on the floor now that lift the uh, table saw stand up off of the casters. So when I pull this lever back, uh, the saw goes down on the casters and I can roll the saw around. And then uh, when I want it to be stationary, I do this, pull this up, the little legs on the two before go down and uh, saw is up and off the casters and will not move. So here's this foot, which is down on the floor. The foot is attached to the edge of this 2 before, which is attached to the underside of the saw by this hinge, and the caster in this case is up off the floor. So when I pull that lever down on the other side of the saw, the foot comes up, the caster goes down on the ground, and I can roll the table saw around quite nicely, put the lever back up, foot goes back down on the ground, saw is in the stationary position. So here's a view of the outfeed table from the saw side and I mentioned in my safety video that I don't even think they should sell a table saw without an outfeed table to go along with it because it is a major major safety issue not having an outfeed table. And I've seen so many guys uh, cut something off there, reach over this blade to pull that thing back over uh, and one of these days someone's going to get in trouble doing something like that. So outfeed tables are real important. Now, this outfeed table has got miter slots cut in it to match these miter slots. That's because I have crosscut sleds that require that and also the use of the miter gauge might require that the uh, runners that fit in these slots stick out, you know, go out there on the outfeed table so you've got to have a place for them to go. Now that table needs to be a lot longer than that for cutting long pieces so it has a drop down leaf right here that is hinged onto the uh, this this part of the table and this little guy right here is the thing that holds it up. So to put this on there I've got a couple of slots underneath here. Pull this thing up put this in the slots, boom, outfeed table is set up. Now I could put some legs on this, you know, that fold down, that sort of thing, uh, but this has served me quite well. Uh, it also leads to a little bit of adjustability because you never know where this thing is going to be and by placing this at a little bit different angle, you know, you can lower this down just a little bit if you want to. Uh, so that comes in real handy. The length of this is sufficient to support an eight foot P 
piece coming through the saw okay so it's more than four feet I've forgotten the exact dimensions but it's greater than 48 inches from the back of this blade out to here so that an eight foot piece won't fall off the end so that's a major safety issue in my opinion uh, again this is permanently attached here with some brackets onto the saw itself and so it moves right along with the saw when you move it and so there you go there's the outfeed table